Hey, this is Sarge here at Sea Four Defense, and today we're going to talk about my Tiger Stripe Camo 14.7 inch AR that I built last year, and now we're going to refer to it as the Tiger King. Let's go ahead and put a few on downrange. All right, now this is a 14.7 inch pinned and welded upper comes out to 16.1 inches total since it's now permanently affixed to the barrel this is a psa upper i built it complete i bought it complete excuse me it's an fn cold hammer forge barrel this is the property of u.s government government m4a1 carbine lower um like i said it's in it's semi of course it's obviously not full auto um let's see magpul stock magpul grip i went ahead and got their ept trigger kit uh, angled foregrip, went ahead and got the Magpul uh, flashlight mount and a Surefire flashlight on the front of it. Let's see, on this side, we've got, I, this is one thing I really like. I really like the Magpul, the, it, the enhanced mag release, uh, of course, uh, bolt assist. It has the, the Magpul sling mount on it, and I put the 45 offset Magpul Pro sights on it because anytime you run a variable power optic, which this is the the Strike Eagle 1 to 6 Vortec, anytime you run a variable power, if you run flip ups behind it, it just distorts everything. It's not the best course of action. So I went ahead and put the flip ups on the side of it. Um, now this optic, I absolutely love it. I tried to take some video of the reticle and it just won't pick up. So um, I've got a 1 to 8 and a 1 to 6. This is the 1 to 6. Bought it off PSA cheaper than I could get it anywhere else. It was amazing. But um, it's, it's fantastic. Like I said, one power, six power. It's also got 11 different brightness settings. So, and if you do get one of these, you need to get a throw lever because that makes it so much easier to, to, to change your, your power. And this one, I almost forgot, I have a front sling attachment. It's just a QD mount because since this rail, their slim, minimal rail has that QD mount in the front. So there you go. Not much to it. Very simple. Oh, and, and the, the camo job. I bought some, some stencils from Acid Tactical, which are, are cheap. I got them on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description below. But this is a rattle can paint job. Um, painted it base color with several different, that's what all these stripes are. Those are the base. I painted it several different colors, put all the, the uh, stenciling on it, and then went over it with OD green, peeled them off, and then put a couple, I put actually extra uh, satin clear coat on it. I put a little bit on it just to, to protect it but even though it's going to get war as you can tell in several places it's war which is fine um but i it was just too thick it, it, it made it too shiny so i've been sanding on a little bit knocking it down but other than that definitely the rattle cam paint job was fun so let's see how this thing runs and we'll uh, put a few on steel well there you go let's go ahead put a few more down rain and make sure it runs This thing runs excellent. I would not be afraid of any PSA bill. Except for the non PSA bolt that I had in a while ago. Tiger King, 14.7 inch AR, FN barrel, Vortex scope, bag pull furniture, sure fire light. This thing is excellent. I love it. Go ahead, build your first one today. Like I said, subscribe, comment, like, hit that notification icon if you're a subscriber. See you on the range.